Ngayon ay magsasagot naman, magsasagot naman tayo ng uh, uh, confidence interval sa population mu uh, na kung saan given tayo ng sample data set. So, ang una natin gagawin, basahin natin yung problem. According sa problem, several years ago, the U.S. Agency of International Development provided 238,300 metric tons of corn soy blend for emergency relief in countries throughout the world. CSB is a highly nutritious, low-cost, fortified food, and as part of a study to evaluate the appropriate vitamin C levels in this food, measurements were taken on samples of CSB produced in a factory. The following data, which is right here, are the amount of vitamin C measured in milligrams per 100 grams of blend for a random sample of 8 from one production run. So yung sample na nakikita natin, yun yung mga uh, sample, um, sample run doon sa um, CSB produced factories. So kailangan natin gawin is mag-construct ng 95% confidence interval for the mean amount of vitamin C or mu in the CSB from this production run. So una natin gagawin is to identify the uh, parameter or yung parameter na hinahanap natin. And in this case, we want to estimate So yan yung uh, gusto natin i-measure yung uh, ng confidence interval, yung mu, which is stated below. So after natin ma-state yung uh, parameter of interest, kailangan naman natin i-check yung tatlong conditions. Yung tatlong conditions will be your um, ra um, randomized by your sample, independent by yung sample, at saka normally distributed by yung sample. So una natin gagawin is yung randomness or i-check is yung randomness. So according to the problem, galing siya sa random sample of size 8. So, so yan yung ating uh, um, condition for randomness. Pangalawa is the sample independent. So, independent siya kasi yung uh, big N or yung population natin which will be I greater than or equal to 10 times the sample size which is 80. So, satisfied yung condition natin sa independence. Now for normality, medyo um, sensitive tayo dapat sa normality kasi hindi natin alam yung population standard deviation at gagamita natin siya ng t-test. So to check the normality, titinan natin yung graph ng ating sample. So using our TI-84, makikita natin siya. So go to stat and edit. So, check natin yung graph nitong um, list na to using second function stat plot and go all the way to the right, yan yung standard normal plot. Zoom 9 at Zoom 9. Makikita natin dun sa sta um, standard normal plot na walang skewness at wala rin outliers doon sa ating graph. So, nasatisfy yung normality. So, pwede natin gamitin yung t-test or interval for t-test para doon sa population parameter. So, Pasok din yung ating conditions. So ngayong na-establish na natin yung ating mga conditions, ready na tayo para 
kunin or sagutin yung or kunin yung confidence interval at 95% confidence level. So, the formula natin would be square root of n. So, kailangan natin yung ating x bar, yung standard deviation, yung sample size which is given, yung confidence level natin is 0.95. So, yung ating T star is 1 minus 0.95 all over 2. Using our calculator, 1 minus 0.95 divided by 2 is 0 0.025. At yung T star natin at 0 0.025, makukuha natin siya sa second function VARS, inverse T, area of 0 0.025. Degrees of freedom natin is 7, since 8 yung sample size. At meron tayong T star na 2.36. Now, kunin naman natin yung mean and standard deviation ng sample. Second, or under var, um, stat, go to one variable statistics, going to list one. Yung acting sample ay 22.5. At yung acting SX ay 7.19. With a sample size of 8. So, since nakuha na natin lahat ng information na kailangan natin, we can now solve for the confidence interval. So, meron tayong 22.5 plus T star of 2.36. Yung SX natin is 7.19 divided by the square root of 8. So, using our calculator, this would be, so yung confidence interval natin would be 16.49 and 28.51. So, in illustration, kung meron tayong normal curve, Yung boundaries natin will be 16.49 at 28.51. At yung estimated new natin is somewhere here with 95% level of confidence. Now, to write our conclusion based on our um, conditions and calculation, So ito ngayon yung conclusion natin base doon sa ating confidence interval procedure.